So what, uh, so what initially drew you to this script? Um, the script was sent to me by someone named Hayden Black, and um, and I found it was about doing a web show, and I thought, I'm not doing a web show. I, so I was in and out of town so much that I forgot about it, and, and I got messages on my service, uh, have you read the script, please let us know and read the script. And then my agent called me and said, read the script and then make up your mind if you're not going to do it you know fine and if you're going to you know they have to know and so i read the script and i <laughs> i couldn't stop laughing it was so funny and um uh, and so unimaginatively different from anything and it the part that i play and it's it, and it's a st the starring role the part that I'm playing is um, CJ, and she has a um, she uh, was a a Fortune 500 honcho, you know, big shot, and somewhere along the way she stumped her toe <laughs> and lost her position, and she bought this curry little cab company that runs in outer space. So when the hence the name. Cabinots, like astronauts, cabinots, because they pick up uh, passengers in outer space and take them to their destination. Don't ask me how it how it happens. It's not a spaceship. It's a cab. <laughs> and don't ask me how it functions or runs. And uh, it does. And we have uh, some of the most iconic um, actors and celebrities from television and movies who have all come to do a, a, be a passenger from one time or another. Wow. another. And um, she, there's this irascible um, uh, trainer who trains the cabinets and he is the pain of my existence. Uh, the bane of my existence and the pain of my life and uh, and he's very funny and he's uh, and he rides in this cab and there's a train and one of our cab drivers is missing and I won't tell you any more about him but it will be that's <laughs> that's what I where hangs the tail and and of course the people who run these stars and who ride in it in it the very famous people and um, and I conduct everything from my office and I can see inside the cab I can see them and I can see the passengers and discuss and and I'm beside myself with him so because my top cab driver as a matter of fact, my only cab driver is missing. And um, it's a, to make a long story short, it's a science fiction musical comedy. And I get to play this hysterical human being who owns this cab company. And my grandmother, who was a legend before my time in um, business and Fortune 500 um, has died, but her brain lives on in a bottle on my desk. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and she talks to me, and and she is not too happy with <laughs> my descent. Mm -hmm. And she makes these remarks when I at the most why I keep her around, but she's grandma. I don't know, and um, I think she has the greatest lines in the play <laughs> each time, and I'm having a hell of a good time and fun. So, and I get to sing and dance uh, in all the episodes, and um, I don't know what else to tell you. It's the craziest thing I ever awesome. saw. Well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Okay.